everybody, Boomer here. Welcome back to another NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. This next matchup, we are sending you down to the Western Conference. At this point, we've got a tough matchup to share with you with a, one of the biggest towns that you see. On Interstate 10, this is where the number Texas showdown brings on. The Houston Rockets are facing against the San Antonio Spurs at Frost Bank Center. It is a new part of the arena that has been renamed after the AT&T Center was already been finished out and now it's wiped out, now it's bringing in for a new one. This is where we are seeing things in between by the others. And between the Rockets and the Spurs, this is what happens. It's considered one of the most bitter rivalries due to the, the league, due to both teams being in the same division, contested games, and close proximity. It is a 1 in 10 rivalry since San Antonio and Houston lie on the Interstate 10. It's one of the Houston Free National Basketball Association rivalries between teams from Texas. The uppers featuring Houston and San Antonio versus the Dallas Mavericks. Sometimes it doesn't really lie in between of the Rockets and the Mavericks in between. Because this is what happens. The Mavericks and the Spurs work there on the I-35 rivalry on Interstate 35, while this one has been turned to be in the Interstate 10. It's definitely a Texas showdown between them. Well, it's one, one of the close occasionals. But it's not really the same thing that everybody calls for. So you can also call it the Texas Showdown War 1 or the R1 War Number 2. You can't really just go with the flow if you're looking for anybody. And here are the starting lineups. Frank Van Lee, Jalen Green, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith Jr., and Alperin Sengun. On the other side for the San Antonio Spurs is Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Julian Campagni, Jeremy Sohan, and your number one pick of the NBA Draft, Victor Wembayama. Yes, I know that Victor Wembayama is the new guy, and he comes from the Euro League of the Division from the continent from the outside. But now he's here, he's ready to do anything. Now, the key matchup is in between those two, Trey Jones and Fred VanVleet. Next commentary I will have is Paintbrush, and he's also along with the other commentaries of the crew, with Wood Spoonie, and finally the first commentary of the crew is Sonic Beast. I'll be back with the post-game show, and coming up for the halftime will be Irving Johnson, Katie DeJet Smith, and Shag O'Neal. Let the Texas showdown of Interstate 10 begin, then let's get the show on a roll. Enjoy, guys. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Rival Week. And we have the two. Now the Texas Showdown between Fred Van Vliet and Trey Jones of the San Antonio Spurs. We're walking into the arena. Live here from Frost Bank Center, it's the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, Payne Brush here along with my broadcasting partner of Wood Spoonie and Son of Beast, and I look for us on the sideline. We've got great matches in between the Interstate 10, right in between the two of the Rockets and the Spurs. We are seeing what's going on in between. Now I'm really excited what this is going to happen. They really are pushing things off, but the Spurs have a lot of trouble to take here, and we don't know how are they going to handle this off if they can do it right. Well, it might be a tough thing. I might be just saying that the Houston Rockets are just doing really well. They might be stepping in the wild card rather than the San Antonio Spurs because they've been really stepping it in. They need to do something else about it, and they got to get back into this one. Here are starting groups right now. It's all fueled and ready to go. Fueled up by Gatorade. Jones is outside. He's covered up with Van Vliet. And it's Vassell on Jeff Green. Then we have across here is Sohan. He will have that first one. One in. And that will be a first bucket of the night. His Green. 
And he's also out second, right over again on Wembayama. And with Smith Jr. And finally, we have it's John Bray Jr. right over again. And he's along with the other player of, of Campane. Brooks starts off with a three. That jumper, way off the mark. Jones have his first rebound here on Fred Bagley with a spin move. Stepping in bound, the first foul called on Houston. Jabari Smith Jr. has his first personal, and their first trip to the free throw line will be San Antonio. Now, I'm not really curious of what drive Jones does. He's, he's been trying, like, keeping it with the drive in account, but that bucket layup is just a hard one to take. And I never saw how that much they were doing this because of Trey Young. He's also from the University of Duke. He might have been doing this on his own, but don't get me questioned because there might be another change that might be playing in between their colleges and their educationals before the NBA comes picking in in the season. He knocks down the first free throw. You know, the thing about the Trey Jones is really getting got simple because that really has to improve him. How well he does, he takes all of his, his um, effort and he wants to get right into this on the profit to do all the job. He gets his second free throw. Now here's Van Blee, he will have that ball. Free pointer for Green. Hit off the rim and Sengen will have it. First rebound of the night, back to Brooks. And here's Smith Jr., he's on the outside. Just down to six on the shot clock. Here's the free for Brooks. Missed again. Sogolm with the rebound and now back to Jones on the other side. Here's Campagne on the corner. Jones finds Vassell. Vassell on Jeff Green. And Sogon will have it. Second with him now. Looking to get him on. Campagne. Trying to put a beat over Brooks. Layup. No good. That one went pretty strong right now. It might be going with an off defense. But it be a struggle for him. But he might just need to keep going at it to get it going. Brooks with the layup. And yeah, that will go in. Rolling around the rim. And it went in the net. Has his first bucket as the Rockets are on the board. Here's Jones. He will have that buff. In the middle. On a back stack. Setback, no good, and a rebound will be foul, fouled on Jalen Green. That'll be his first, and when Bayama will head to the free throw line, shooting two. You know he's a great pick. He's a number one guy here to play with the San Antonio Spurs. It's a great pick of the lottery. While their fourth pick was the Houston Rockets, they may be sharing these up, but they wanted to like keep that one over it again. Yeah, of course, Wembayama's like a big, tough guy. You might be thinking of Wembayama really may have it all down. But let me tell you, it's his night. Welcome to the team. And he makes the first free throw. Just a good guy here for Victor Wembayama. You might have it all coming there down, and then when his team comes in, he has a lot of his epics, and he says, it's all for the team. I have definitely played here for the Metropolitan on the other side of the outer town just be coming in for the upper leg and might be stepping in and he wants to show how it is done. I'm hoping there's another way that he can definitely try to keep an eye on him if he's looking for another NBA career title. Second, back it over again, right now to Green with the layup. And makes that one in there as Jalen Green with his first bucket. This one goes to Fred Bentley with the assist with 4-3 to go. San Antonio up by two. Here's the cut inbound. Over Semkin. Missed the two pointer, and that rebound puts it for Smith Jr. Here's Brooks on a finish down. The arc is fouled, and it's Campane with the first personal. Now be the first start for the team foul on San Antonio. You know, I never get to see what this uh, throw down coming in with the finish drive, and I think that Dylan Brooks, he might have trouble with that feeling, because that really smacked him down. Houston Rockets will have their first free throw coming up here the, for the for Dylan Brooks. And 416 left to go in the first period.
He hits the first free throw. Last season, he was definitely playing here with the Memphis Grizzlies, and this season, they made a new contract and want to bring him for a warm welcome to the Houston Rockets. For a switch off in between of Tennessee to Texas, this might be to turn out to be a change off if Dylan Brooks wants to keep longer for the Memphis. But this time went on as he makes his new team. Well, in that case, that Dylan Brooks really been like keeping it on for most of the run. I've got to say that Dylan Brooks has been doing a lot of his hard techniques, doing a lot of in Curtis sight, just to keep on going. They're just trying to make, make him feel like it's a goal good in mind. It's not for everybody who is really uh, concerning it, but this is what all does type for Dylan Brooks to be here. And this is what happens now. i got to make him a, another look of a uh, opinion. It may not be the same thing everybody does. Brooks, fine again to Smith Jr. Over by Miami. Good T, and this one puts it his first rebound of the night. Conscious sight that when Bayama got that first rebound here. Layup coming in. The two pointers off the mark. Still even, as Sengen will have that possession. Get to Smith Jr. Here's to cut it for Sengen. Give off to Fred Van Bleet. Three pointer for Jalen Green, and he will cash it in. He has his first three-pointer of the night, and Fred Van Vliet with the assist. They are up by three, and right now, here's Jones. Jones trying to look inside the middle. Outside, went by Yama. Here's Vassell with the ball. Green on him. Up with the two. Gosh, Golder on the elbow is good for Vassell. He's got his number two-pointer bucket. Back down by one. Really got to keep it going out there. Once with Vassell does, he got to get that two-pointer down. Jalen Green back over again to Van Vliet. Try to push him bound. With a two. That one rolls out. As Sengen will have that rebound again. Now will we start it again for Brooks? Six out of shot clock. Two-pointer coming up for Smith Jr. Let's go. That one puts up another two-pointer for the Rockets. Timeout called by San Antonio. They'll have their first timeout with only 2.22 to go in the first period. While they're really uh, been and backing it out again, they really got to do something else. They got to try to figure this out and try to like choose it wisely. They really need to start doing something else about it instead. I have no question of what's going on, but in our case, they might keep their eyes on the river. Well, they, they need to do something else about it. They gotta wake up, they gotta do uh, their uh, techniques and their hand-to-hand -hand passes, and just keep on going with the uh, passes to keep on going. That's what they gotta do, take it from here. As you may have already noticed right now, this is the new face for Greg Popovich, is this one is for Beal. I never noticed right now, but he keeps that one beard on for the last season, but this time, he now shows his reveal in his face right now. He just wanted to change it up and just show him how it goes, what he does. Yeah, I can't really say that Greg Popovich, he kind of looks completely different here, but in that case, he's still the same guy, but no need to pressure yourself. And that might be a thing, but you can't even get it off to a good start and keep on with the pressure on their time. New changes coming in for the San Antonio Spurs and for the Rockets. Right now, as the new players are checked out, all five players are checked out again. And all five players checked in. It's Holiday Thompson, Eason, Green, and Tate are checked in. When Miami stays in the court, as Brent Holland, Johnson, Wesley, and Osmond are checked in. Here's Jeff Green, passes to Tate. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. He now finds Holiday. In the quarter, three-pointer for Thompson. It's good for the outside range. Thompson will have his first three-pointer of the night. You're up ahead by six. Now we'll try to give it over to Osmond. He now finds Ben Bayama. And Johnson will have the appearance. He's up in the middle. The layup. Off again. And go back up. It's good. Johnson. Got it back in time. That's Cullen Johnson in the first bucket. You know, it's a lot of hard takes, but you just do not really want to mess it up. Tate, give again to Thompson. Passes to Holiday. Holiday in the baseline. Near again to Tate for three. 
That one misses. Number one three pointer misses coming up for Houston, and now Wesley will have it. On take possession. Holiday with him. Johnson on Thompson. Try to look over. In the middle. Right up. Good. Kayla Johnson with a two pointer in the ring. In the middle. Now half back down by two. No way you can give to Kelton Johnson in number tight. Holiday, he gives it over to get to Easton. Three pointer coming up for Tate. Another one misses. Johnson with the rebound. Now give it over again. Here he comes. Johnson with a base to tie it. And it's knocked out. Now last touch goes in for the Rockets. As the Spurs will have that out of here. We're going to take it over. Now for the rebounding, new possession will be McDermott. Just checking in. And here's Thompson. Running outside, dragging to Eason. Off to Green, lost that ball, but recovers it, and he'll have that two-pointer taken in. Jeff Green's got his first bucket of the night with 20 seconds to go. You're up by four. Well, really clear, it almost would have been a turnover to be a media light here on the Houston Rockets, but not this time. You're going to need to do this one. A lot of much changes. Johnson, on tape. Five seconds to shoot. Will he have it? And it's off the rim. That ends the first quarter here with Houston up by four, 16 to 12, and they will get ready to start the second quarter when we come back after this. Hey, we tuning us in. We've got the start of the second quarter as the uh, Houston Rockets lead by four. Now, there are much to say about this. All because the other players here, they have been really been dominated out of here. They're just trying to like keep up the run and do for their scores. Well, there might be a tough way to notice, but I've got a great eye for Tony Parker. He's really been doing everything here, all for once, after retiring right now. But he's been a best, absolutely and an incredible performance here for Tony Parker for the game of the season. Might be changing things up here, all over this again. Might be seeing what's going on. But I got a feeling right now because maybe because of like. Uh, great star players always meet me coming out with Yao Ming. I never know how much he can do that. But it might be a great way to keep it on coming. Number two pointer comes in and that one puts up another two point bucket score. Lucelle has six and the rest of the team has eight. Here's Van Vliet. Over now to Green on stepping free and corners good. Finally get that one bucket down. He has eight. That knock three pointer is a tricky shot. He made that one easier. You gotta give him the credit. Here's a pass to McDermott. He gives off to Sopshawn. So Pine on a cover inbound on Smith Jr. Passes to McDermott. Great pass by Sopine. That one puts up a first bucket for McDermott. And Eric just coming back down in his strength by five. Now, Van Vliet, Fred Van Vliet, back in middle, great shot made, and this one goes up, and the first two buckets to score for Fred Van Vliet. Coming up for just a lot of percentage here, in between the losses of the game, and sometimes with the win, he may have it all down with his halfway approach man, and Graham slams it down, right down in the middle. That might be a change out, you gotta slam it, you gotta bring a connection in. Now Jalen Green bounce passes to Smith Jr. Now swing again to Van Bleet. Now moves to Brooks. Brooks over again to McDermott. And that one goes in. As Dylan Brooks with a third buck of the night. Here's Graham. Graham trying to look over in the offensive side of a corner. To pull on the arc. Passes to Vincel. Now finds McDermott. McDermott trying to move in. Another miss by San Antonio. They're just getting him a deep trouble, my guy. They're not just like keeping it on sight. They're just like not getting away with it. Number two, Sengen. Lost that layup drive and it goes back over again to McDermott. With last night, they lost against Chicago as this point points on with a huge disappointing run. 
how did this uh, all turn out with the huge uh, upsetting guys? Well, it just happens now, it's because of San Antonio Spurs just saw that Chicago definitely just lose it, and they boost it up. They made a great win against the Rockets this time. And you know that two seasons ago, last season, it was, how it turns out, a great win over the Rockets. Now, Houston, they've been really been dominating out of here, and I can't tell you, they've been going it right from here. They've been going like on the biggest score top downs. They say that is a fantastic night of the season. And I may be saying that Chicago Bulls really dug it all. He may be digging it all through. Next time I've been called by San Antonio with under four minutes after a three-pointer was made by Dylan Brooks. They made that one a great stop into the ride, but you can never make it slow down. Some changes for the San Antonio Spurs. As Campani is checked back in, and also along with the other two, as three players checked out. As right now, Jorge will be second out, as Rambayam has checked in, and Trey Jones checked in as also. To starting group, Jones rolls in and out. That one puts up a rebound here for Fred Van Bleek. He's got number two with his second rebound. Brooks on the outside, he finds that went to Jared Sutton. Up at two. That's a nice team by Victor Wembayama. He has number four. He's Wembayama. Up at the two. D. Up again. Good. Wembayama scores it. Big takedowns. Might be taking a number two of his career high record. Well, I'm never saying that Wembayama may be putting a revenge on Albert and Sagan. He might be losing it. Here's Brooks. Driving back again to Jeff Green. Jalen Green trying to get back to Fred Van Vliet. Van Vliet in the elbow. Off the rim. Set it up. Green denied by Webb Miami. And Jeff Green up. And he will have to take it in. And there's a timeout on the call for Houston Rockets. We've got a man down. Uh-oh, not so well enough. And I can't even sign enough. That this should have been a foul fragment. They should have been calling that one earlier, but not for this time. Jalen Green, he's out of the game. Let's check out a replay and see how they did after this game. He'll be ready for our next one to take on in. And Masao slams it down. They will have to take their time out for Houston with only 2.43 left to go. They make a new change in offense. Let's take a replay look here at what happened to Jalen Green as I send it over to Boomer. Boomer, Boomer, what's going on? Hey Bush, thank you. As right now we're looking it over again. With the replay, after you see Green with the bucket score, you always make a layup in that drive. And this one puts up a pain on this one. Because he knocked down with his leg and this one just gotten stumbled down, he went right near the uh, right near the baseline and he went crashing down right in between. But you can definitely see what's going on right now. Because at this point, he went down and he just went down really hard on the court. It really was a bad idea because of this one, they call it a fragment foul. The referee should have been looking at the replay over again because of a cell on the air side over here. You can see what happens. With this finishing drive, it is really that close call. And this one gotten roughly, badly angling well. Let's take a look at this one in this direction. You can see what happens right now because Vassell's knee, he's been popping in it right in between. And then he went right in between down. And this one got him really tumbling it over. This one was really that bad. And it didn't really just think like he was going to get able to do this one. Yeah, he went from back from the knee. And then in front of the knee happened to be like a very close call on the angle. Well, when you zoom that play in there, as we're going to take a look at it right, right in between. Let's watch our knee right over here in a second right now. And on this side of the angle, let's see what happens right now. Just to take a look. And here it is. That's the bump what happened because the, the, that knee just really been like you. This would have been called in a fragment foul. They should have called that one earlier. And this one would have been under review. They would have done that. And this would have been going right down on the floor. This is what happens. And he went crashing down. A bumble bruise here for Jalen Green. 
what we hope we will have is we'll have this time to make the moment a field thank you and well pleasure and a speedy recovery for the Houston Rockets. Back to you. Well, well thank you very much. Yes, right now we hope yes will return for our next part of the game to wish a speedy recovery. And now with Brooks. I got side defines Thompson. Three pointer for Tate. Hit off the rim and it goes right back the other way to Wambayama. They're not shooting it really well. They need to do something else about it to do a favor. They need to do something else to try and like keep it out with the scores. And a two pointer comes in for Wem for their team. They are just pushing their way down by eight. Here's Green. Brooks finds again to Thompson. Bounce pass to Green. Shoots over one by Yama, and a layup will put in for Green. He has his second bucket of the night. They're back up again to do much more. Now, Jones will have his possession on the offense. We're under two minutes remaining in the first half of the period. Try to make a spin. Open again. Misses, and the number two point went badly for the Spurs. Oh, just keep it going. You might never guess it if the Spurs are going to try to like keep on scoring again. Just don't let that happen in there. They just need something else about it. Where Bayama with the rejection it goes back the other way. Oh, man, that is nasty. Where Bayama with two blocks. Are you cutting? This is what the goal is. You gotta give him enough room. Three pointer misses. And when Bayama lost the ball and nobody to give open. And take back to Green to finish the up. It's good. Jeff Green with his third bucket and Tate with the assist. There's a good connection and you gotta give a good look open. Spurs trail by 10. Jones with a two. Step up to the floater, doesn't go in. Brooks. Now we're again to Tate. Bounce pass again to Thompson. Up an overhead pass to Green. To over one by Yama, and that one goes in. No foul called on Victor Wembayama, as Jeff Green has eight points. Here's another one for Jones with 30 seconds remaining. Jones in the corner. Three pointer went off target here. Not a good look, but good, good uh, open to take that angle with a chance. Now here's Brooks on the outside. He now finds Thompson. Off again to Brooks. Never good pass changing for the Rockets. Down to six in the shot clock. Around Johnson. That's a tough shot, and he makes that layup in reverse. Oh, that wasn't going to be clean on that run. Buzz Peter up. And misses. Tough run for the first half, but we'll get a quick break when we come back after this. 38 to 24 to score. Let's head to Alley LaForce. I'm here with Coach Popovich, and Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we played really soft so far, really pathetic, defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. All right, thank you, Allie. We'll see you all later for the third quarter coming up after the break. Second half. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first, and they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? There was no shortage of dimes on this team, that's for sure. The numerous guys who played good court who moved the ball, led to great shots. They had full control of this game. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive team. There were some guys on this side who were making nice fans, but hey, not looking good out there. And that's going to do it for us here, Lee. Second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back here at 
the new loose place at San Antonio. Frost Bank Center is the cover to be. And we got a great look of it in between. Well, as you already know for once, as Shailen Green has already been out of here, as he's already injured, he will have wish to have his speedy recovery with only 10 points. He got him great with the first half, but that was all Doug took because at this point, they all missed him very much, and hopefully you'll watch the rest of the game. Y'all, great to say, but whatever does turn, you got to give him a lot much credit if you can keep on going. And wow, what a great layup here for Fred Van Vliet. I've got a lot of cover about him to keep on going. Here's some high with a two. Misses again for the target. Smith Jr. has another rebound, and now give it again to Sengen. Second again to Van Vliet. Over again to Thompson. In the middle, Smith Jr. around one by Emma. It's good. Smith Jr. has a six. Third bucket of the night. They are but a head right now. Smoking him out of here. My goodness. Here's a two. That chops it out. Sigan with another rebound. And now off to Smith Jr. Here's a three for Thompson. And good on the outside. Thompson's got his third bucket. And that will be a number two pointer to carry. Now back to Sarvan. As we definitely do have a report for David Aldridge, we just saw that one coming, and so right now, Jalen Green is off. Because all that happens, he wished that it would have been helpful enough to get back in the game, but on that occasionally, it all happened to be the worst for everything. We hope everything is okay, and hopefully we'll keep that one another next guy in common. Brooks back to Van Vliet. Now we get back to Brooks. Over now to Thompson. He gets back to Sengen. Over with Sohan. It's good. Sengen finally gets his first bucket. He shows. Hasn't scored yet in the start, second half of the period. But looking to get one. That didn't go in there. And they were missed by the San Antonio Spurs. Five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Only had two points in the bucket score. Sengen. Again to Thompson. Bounce passes again to Sengen. And now it puts a blocking foul on Sohan. Want to count that bucket, but it won't count. Now Jones is checked out and is going back in onto the court. Will be Wesley. Here's Van Vliet. Pass to Thompson. Thompson back pass to Van Vliet. Six on a shot clock with a two. Good. And number one puts up for Jabari Smith Jr. He has eight points and Ved Van Vliet on fire tonight. Might be taking another assist here. He might be pressuring on to a courtesy. Ken Pagne finds a pass to Wimbayama. Over again to Van Vliet. Fades with the first try. He misses. Another two pointer has been released and it caught up too soon. Can't get away with this. If you know to get the rebound here, you just gotta keep on trying. That pass broke it up. The sound, the fast, fast break. Went by Emma with the spin, almost loose, and Wesley recovers it. Bang style for three, doesn't hit. They are just missing too many three pointers outside. They need to do something else about it. They try to help them maintain it. Van Vliet again to Brooks. Off back to Van Vliet. Pass the second. Of a layup, good. Number two, one, good to the second. And Van Lee has nine assists again. Look at them. When you give them off a great play about, you got a great intentional spike. You just maintain it. You just got to give it off to a great start, a great pass, and you've gotten great skills. When by Emma loses the number two pointer possession, and then you get again to Brooks. Here's Thompson back again to second. Second again to Brooks. Three pointer for Van Vliet. That was soft wide. Never rebound puts up for Vassal. And went by Emma. Oh! Wow! That is way downtown. And you can't just tell that when by Emma slams it down. He's going to have to get out a pipe full. He's almost getting hurt full. You better be ace or not. Oh my. When by Emma, he's on a choke star. 
Thompson back again to Brooks. Seven on the shot clock. Van Vliet to finish the arc. It's good. And a number two pointer carries on for the Rockets to extend their lead. Timeout call by San Antonio with 2.31 to go. We've been on fire right now in the first half. It looks like their second half is coming in quick. Just need to keep that one in there. Everything you got, you got to show what you are. The NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Adidas. For our new great amount, we're hoping to see what goes with next. If there's another change up that you're looking for for another game coming up, that will be another one to keep your eyes fed and steady. And there's a one way to go for another. Just have it on the board. And we've got a next one game covering for you. As we got another one on its way down. As we see the Sixers playing against the Lakers at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. That will be the next one on its way soon. And we'll find out what happens here with another game pick look. Now we have a new changeup right now as all four players from the Rockets are checked out. The four players are checked in. Holiday, Teet, Eason, and Green are, are checked in. And for the Spurs, all five players checked out as Osmond's checked in. Here's McDermott. Give off to Burham. Down to six on the shot clock. Here's Osmond. He missed the three point out range. That's a tricky look out there. You can't make the free if you don't know if you're going to get there. If the defender's on you, just don't take it. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. That's right now Van Vliet on the outside. Now he finds again to Tate. Tate up of a two. It's good. Tate has his first bucket in. And they are extending it 55 over 28. Here's number two. He finds Johnson for three. Misses from the target. And that puts him a settling rebound for Eason. Here's Green on a fast breakaway, and he slammed it down. Ten points in the run. You got to give him a full pressure take. Jeff Green. Well, I never noticed that Jeff Green was really, like, slamming it down, but that is a hard takeout punch. Here's another one on a flinch back. Oh, my. Looks like somebody got that revenge back out there. They liked the dunk, but they were left off behind. But it may not be getting it easier, but they need to do something else about it. Van Vliet finds Tate. Tate, give to Van Vliet. Van Vliet on his two-point range. That elbow went off short. He's missing up to too many shots in the opportunity run. And Burnham slams it down. And Johnson with the assist coming down. We're under one minute remaining in the third. Van Vliet, back to Tate. Here comes Van Vliet. Looks again to Holiday. Over now to Eason. Eason with a two. That rolls off the rim, and it goes right back to Weasley. Wesley, excuse me. Here's a two. Oh, Brandon had two consecutive dunks down. Looks like somebody's going to have to get a slam dunk competition down. I don't know if there are, but maybe one change off they might be doing it their way. I don't know if that's will be possible. Van Vliet finally got the three-pointer down. 60 to 34. He has nine. The waiting patient line and you gotta give a three. And then you say, there it is. That's when he comes down. Foul called on Jeff Green. That'll be his first personal. And their first team foul for Houston. We're under 20 seconds remaining in the third. As right now at the free throw line will be Kellen Jones. Will be. Sorry about that one. I'm not even sure who well, what it is, uh, but the name's coming up here shortly. Two shots. The last on the first. Perhaps. It's the first free throw. 
All the changes right now, it's just what Brenham does. Yeah, it's a great way to do this. You gotta give a good credit run and you gotta keep on going. Second checked in for Jeff Green. And as Spurs are also making new changes right now, as Wes is checked out and Jones is checked back in. He missed the second. So that'll be one out of two free throws for, for Burnham. And now Van Vliet will have his possession. Here's Sagan. Up and over to McDermott. Good on Sagan point. He has his third bucket. Assisted again by Van Vliet. He has number 10. Osmond for three. Good. He finally has it. And that is so the end of the third quarter is come down. 62 to 38. They're on smoking enough right now. But we'll see what happens if the Spurs kick it from here. We'll take a quick break and we'll quit come right back after this. Four quarters next. How about a moment now for a reveal of State Farm Assist of the Game? Now I'm really glad that, that the Houston Rockets been really like been showing their response. To all the communication in between, you give off to uh, one of the good players inside, you have that step in range, and you got a great technique. We are at the fourth quarter. Hope you're having fun with us. And right now, we have it all finished up with the last starting group. We're all by Gatorade. Jones is with Smith Sal, and went by Emma straight in the middle. That's Johnson right to the small forward. And of course, we have here is Trey Jones. Now here's Thompson, he will have that start. Over again to Smith Jr. Pass again to Brooks. Here number pass down, sing it up. Blocked by Wembyama. That will be number four to run to keep on blocking it. That shot been just taking an instant. A good successful range. And a drive will send in for Jones. They're back down by 20. Here's Brooks. Off again to Van Vliet. Bounce pass to Smith Jr. Over to Sahai. Defensive rebound recovery. And he'll take it back in. Smith Jr. has 10. We're just passing the minute mark down. Here's Sahai. Right pass again to Wemayama. In the middle, could dunk it? Oh yes, he can. He just dumps it and he wants to show the crowd with response. Well, he may be saying that Wemayama really wanted to make the dunk. He felt like, okay, I want your crowd to hear me. He wants it. That's what you can type. You can give it all to a good credit. Van Vliet for three. Off the range, the foul will be picked up on second. That will be his first foul. With under five carry left to go. Now Jones will have his possession. Pass off to Sophie. Passes to Wembyama. In the middle to Jones. Nice D by Jabari Smurf Jr. And second back again. Over to Van Vliet to finish the yard. The layup is good as Van Vliet has 11. Up again by 20, and it's again to a second. They really have to show what happens. You get to second, you make that good connection in. Keldon Johnson passed it by Yama for two. He misses again, another miss by the Spurs, and they are in having a little bit of trouble. They always been losing a lot of games lately. But not occasionally, they might be not a great day because they always lose a lot of players. Not always happens. Layup will send in for Jamari Smith Jr. with 12 points. And now he has it over again with up to 22. There is switch with a layup and count the bucket of one. Alperin second with his first foul, an RT foul for Q State. And now a new changeup coming in. As right now, Thompson's checked out. Brooks will be checking in, moving over to shooting guard, and Tate is on the line. Only one shot remaining goes up for Vassal.
He only has two. Didn't make that one in there. Well, easy enough right now. Two is okay. He can be able to take it. Second pass again to Brooks. He now switches over again to Sagan. Around on Miyama, and he's fouled coat the fucking one. Wait, Sagan just realized he makes that one shot. Can't believe what Victor Wembayama done. Oh, in big trouble, Dolly, for not might be the end of it. Now checking in as Johnson's checked out. And now checking back in will be Campani. One shot coming up for Alper and Sagan. What's up? He makes the free throw. Second with nine points, and their extension has been coming up in the lead chain. Here's Sohan. He'll have his chance. That layup went short. Smith Jr. with a nice rebound, and this one goes up to Brooks. Now again to Smith Jr. Up at the two, releases a two point over the elbow. He has 14, and they are all over it. Well, they're quiet right now, and the San Antonio fans just realize that they're just leaving out of here. Two-pointer. Misses again for Sahan. Tries to get back to Wimayama. Three-pointer is off the mark. Smith Jr. has got his eighth rebound of the night, and this one will keep on going to Fred Bagley. Screen on Smith Jr. Passes over. Great pass by Van Bleet. He has number 11 in a row. And it looks like Smith Jr. has 16, beating him a 7. You really just may not have another chance if you wanted to do another assist. But that's great here. You got good look to detail that run. And second when Jenny Chu checks that shot. What a stop made for the Rockets. Oh, they really decided that the Rockets have been an absolute light. Not really a chance. You got that crazy blockage. Off of the layup, it's good. Oh, Alper and Sagan with 11 points. And they're always right down here with only 11 points in the run and eight in pain. Now Jones will try to scoot it out. Loses the ball, and it's taken over by Aaron Sagan. Here he come on the fast break. With offensive rebound for Smith Jr. Tate to Van Vliet. Laying the clock wind down. Five to go. Rooks up. The two points off the mark. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. As is always coming down with no points in the drought. Rambayama tries to go reverse. And again, good. Another two pointer for Rambayama. 77 to 48 to score. Just keeping it down right toward the line with under two minutes. It's Van Bleek. He give off to Smith Jr. to finish the arc. And there it goes again. Smith Jr. with 18 points. And Van Bleek is putting up the pressure. He has 14 rebounds, 14 assists in the game. He's on fire. It's a great way to help him out. They've gotten some great responses. They're going to do this one. One by one. Family wants to take his time out with nearing a 90 second approach in the fourth quarter. 79 to 50 to score, as they're just trying to lead it up by 30 to go with their game. They're up by 29, and this one will be their second to last timeout for the Houston Rockets. The NBA on 2K Sports for Arrival Week is brought to you by. American Express. Don't live life without it. Your local Kia dealers. Moment that inspires. And by State Farm. Call your free court now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's time to present your New Balance player of the game, Jabari Smith Jr. 
They made him a great look to have it all here. It's a great way to make a finish out of it with Jabari Smith Jr. You just gotta do what you can do to try and like keep on scoring in between the sets. The pick and roll, the cut and bound, this one is turning great. What a helpful run for the Rockets team. They're doing the best. With a lot of new changes right now as this one comes down with 90 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And Van Vliet will give it off to Tate to finish the arc. It's good. Tate has his second bucket. And the just comes in for Fred Van Vliet. And Osmond will have his possession. Osmond, where Miami open look, finally has a three pointer this time. They wanted to have this for a timing for the three. All you can't just say he's like all alone with three, but it's great enough that nobody is up on the cover, so he took his time and got a three pointer. Van Lee back to Tate. Bounce pass to Green. Green around it, and he's fouled. Oh boy, that is a lot of contact here for San Antonio, and Wembayama with his second personal. Well, I never know what happened here because he was tumbling out, he was trying to get the ball, but it, it looks like he's using a body language here, he, he just made that slump. He made Jeff Green go down. That's really unattended. No free throw coming in for the Houston Rockets with under one minute remaining, and this one will be another chance for Jeff Green. He hits the first free throw. All of pays for respect here for Jeff Green, as he always misses out being played where with the other team right now, as you all been counting on for the Brooklyn Nets. And of course, on the other side, you can't make him feel like you all really wanted to get going down with Milwaukee Bucks. Well, I may never say what happens. It's a now or never, and you can't really make him feel like that Jeff Green really dug it all. I can't really say how much he is, but he all does go for Houston Rockets. There's Osman on Eastman. Over to Graham for three. Another miss by San Antonio. And their last possession will take for the San Antonio Spurs after Rockets. And here's Holiday. Give a bounce pass to Van Vliet. Van Vliet to go for an error, it's good! Van Vliet has 13 points. Last possession for the Spurs. That might be it. It's all a good point for now. They may never get there in time. After a three-pointer for Devontae Graham, it comes to the end for the rival matchup in the Texas Showdown. Houston Rockets deserves to make a win over San Antonio Spurs with 85 to 56 run. That does happen to be it. All it turns out, you make a win, you fail, you go home. Now it's time to head you down to Ali LaForce for our player of the game of the night. Ali, who do you have? Fred, no surprise, a great defensive showing tonight. What is it that makes this team so suffocating at that end of the floor? I think we're getting pretty good effort from each guy individually. I think we're finding our package defensively as a, as a team, uh, as a coaching staff. We're just kind of gelling and, and putting together individual game plan from the coaches and trying to execute it. No doubt. Thanks, Fred. All right, Ali. Thank you so much. And I'll wrap it up for today at night's game with Paintbrush along with Woods Booney and Center Beast. This has been a presentation of the Rival Week on 2K Sports. Thanks for tuning and see you next time. So long, everybody. All right, Paintbrush, thank you very much. And I really appreciate that this team has been crushing right now for the Houston Rockets. They've already been smacking out the San Antonio Spurs. And this was their top team in the interstate of 10 that really might be keeping an eye on pride. Here's how you do with the total com team comparison in between. 64 and 43 was a three-pointer and field goal range. Then it was happened to be six fast break points for San Antonio Spurs. The points in paint, second chance, bench points, and assists turned to be 31, 24, 8, and 52 for Rockets. Assists definitely got a lot of them. And I must tell you now, no way you can't offend to yourself. 
Seven defensive rebounds for San Antonio Spurs and for the Rockets. Three for defensive rebounds for Rockets. Both teams have one steals and three blocks at a time, and both turnovers turned. And four team fouls were given in between San Antonio and Houston. Seven dunks were formed for San Antonio Spurs. It really thinking that Wembayama could definitely dunk more than that. Well, I may never know what you guessed now, but you may never get it all. Then it was 32 biggest lead of the night, and 14:38 was the time of possession for the Houston Rockets to keep on things down. Now it's time to present your three star players of the game as we go to the other side. The first star of the night that we go over with is all turned to be great. Fred Van Vliet with 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 15 assists. He got him great. Good communication out there. Just got a great pass. 6 out of 11 in field goal range and one three-pointer was given. Only 46 performance run. Turned out excellent. That's what happens now. You just got to make him gleek clean. On a second take right now for number two, Victor Wembayama with three blocks, one assist, six rebounds, and 13 points. He only had 15 performance run, only one three-pointer, and two dunks has performed. Five out of 12 field goals was the range for Victor Wembayama, the number one draft pick. Maybe thinking he might go for more than that. And we'll see his next game for the Trailblazers and the Spurs. And on the other side, one last star of the game, Jabari Smith Jr., your New Balance player of the game. 18 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, and one block. He only made 9 out of 11 field goals range, and 25 performance run was keeping it here. Awesome run for Jabari Smith Jr., keep it up. And I'll wrap it up, folks, for a Western Conference NBA showdown of the rival. If you like this video, please give it a like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you, so you don't miss out with the latest new videos, and it's the best way to support for the channel for the work of Son of Beast. If you have any recommendations right now, please feel free to leave a comment bo box below. Son of Beast will be happy enough to appreciate you if you have anything going on. And follow him on his social media too, on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Link are into about page. And always be keeping an eye on it, we got lots of more coming down, so we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, and I hope you all appreciate to see you all for the next game. For a while as the NBA 2K24 of the 2K Sports style of the Rival Week. This is Boomer, and see you all again. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.